What is going on YouTube world? It's Jemai McKinney, your boy. I'm back with more great fire sports content for you guys once again. Be sure to like the video right now. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. I do post a ton of great sports videos pretty much almost every single day, giving y'all great objective content. Okay, getting right to it. Man, oh man, what a game. Toronto versus Milwaukee. Okay, game number five. You know, Toronto is now one game away. Just one game away from the NBA Finals, and they have no one but Kawhi Leonard but to thank. Okay, has been putting on a show. I mean, he had 35 points tonight, seven rebounds, about nine assists. Heck, Kawhi Leonard hardly ever passes the ball. I mean, he's never had a 10 assist game in his career, so him having nine assists was key. Okay, but he's just carrying these guys. I mean, Danny Green puts up a donut, scores zero points. Marcus Gasol, who, while he did hit a big three and had a great key rebound, um, he only had four points tonight. I mean, Fred Van Vliet went off tonight. Okay, he had 21 points coming off the bench. He saved the Toronto Raptors. He was hitting big three after big three. Powell was decent off the bench. But listen, let, let's be real. Kawhi Leonard is carrying a bunch of guys. They're just guys, pretty much. I mean, this roster is not should not be a championship roster, but they are. And the reason why is because Kawhi Leonard is dominating on both the defensive and offensive end of the floor. He's just absolutely balling out. Right now, the three best players in the world in no particular order, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Durant, LeBron James, okay? Those are the three guys. Kawhi Leonard has now entered that territory, okay? He's just that good. I mean, you know, it took him a while to get back on his feet. You know, a year ago, you know, he was hurt with the San Antonio Spurs. But before he was hurt, um, he was healthy. And they, they were up 23 points at the half on the Warriors in the playoffs. I mean, they probably wouldn't have won the series, but they would have won some games. Kawhi Leonard, absolutely amazing. He's carrying the Raptors right now, okay? But... You know, this game, I, I thought, honestly, that Milwaukee would blow Toronto out. I mean, they had as much as a 14-point lead. I think Toronto started off 1 of 13 from the field to start the game. Uh, Milwaukee came out firing. I mean, they scored 32 points in the first half. My, Malcolm Brogdon was excellent. I think that move to put him in the starting lineup was very, very good on the part of Mike Budenholzer. Okay, but the other thing that really hurt them down the stretch was the fact that, you know, it hurt their bench, I think. It really did. Um, Malcolm Brogdon played well, even though he had that bad turnover at the end of the game. Um... And ultimately, Toronto, you know what? They just started off cold. They were missing some shots they usually make, okay? And they were able to make some of those shots. They went at the storm. Honestly, I think Milwaukee, if they're... another key thing I really wanted to point out was Toronto, I believe, had about four turnovers in the first quarter. I think they had like four turnovers in the first quarter, okay? They ended up with six total turnovers on the game. So after that first quarter, they really, really made some great adjustments. They were passing the ball much better. They finally settled down. They played an excellent game after that, okay? After that first quarter, Toronto played amazing, okay? They're a more experienced team. They probably would have already wrapped up the series. I mean, there's no reason they shouldn't have got a game in Toronto. There's no reason they should have blew this game at home. But I think the more experienced team, you know, Danny Green's been there, done that. You know, Marcus Saul's been there, done that. Kawhi Leonard, he's a finals MVP. He's been there, done that. You know, they just have a, they're a very experienced team. Kyle Lowry, too. Kyle Lowry at 14 points tonight. Kyle Lowry is very consistent. Pretty much in this series, what you're getting is what star, what star player, you know, Giannis or Kawhi, is going to get the most production from their bench or the other role players. And tonight it was Fred Van Vliet and those other guys, Siakam, you know, Kyle Lowry dropped 14. I mean, if you just give Kawhi Leonard any help, man, he's going to put you over the top. Now, I wanted to get to some things, okay? A couple key things. Now, listen, when... You know, when Marcus Hall got the key rebound with about 34 seconds left, Giannis Antetokounmpo was out of the game. Now, he did tweak his ankle or his knee or whatever. I don't know what he was doing. He was sitting on the bench a little bit, but to me, it just didn't look like he really tweaked his knee. I mean, was he tired? I mean, was he really that hurt? He came back early in the game. You know, maybe if he was not, maybe if the coach doesn't take him out of the game, they maybe would have secured that rebound. Maybe been a different outcome of the game. I don't know, but it just... I just question that decision. I don't know. I don't know if Giannis wanted to sit out, but I wouldn't have sat him out. I would have kept him in the game. It would have gave me a better chance to win, okay? And Giannis also missed a lot of free throws. I, mean, I think he was like four of nine from the free throw line, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm coming off the spot right after the game. But, you know, he just missed a lot of free throws. You know, he was decent. You know, he had about 25 points, I think, like that. Something like that. But Kawhi Leonard was just better, okay? He was just better tonight. Uh, the Toronto Raptors went on about a 10 0 run with about six minutes left in the fourth quarter. I mean, Kawhi Leonard had like 16 points in the fourth quarter, okay? He was closing the deal. Um, and like I said, Milwaukee. I thought they had a chance early on to put the game away. They were up about 14 points at the end. In the first half, but Kawhi Leonard and the Toronto Raptors just weathered that storm. And ultimately, the Bucks went through a stretch where they were one of ten from the field. I mean, Milwaukee just seems like they're one of the, those teams. They go through a stretch where they're really, really good, but they go through a stretch where they just go ice, ice cold from the field. I don't know what happened to them. I mean, they just ultimately missed some shots. And Chris Milton, listen, I give you credit. You had about, um, I think Chris Milton had like 
10 rebounds, I think almost 10 assists, something like that. But he only had 6 points. Okay, that's not going to cut it. Chris Middleton, if he's your second option, he has to be better. Okay, now, like I said, guys, I did say earlier, you know, once this happened, you know, once Toronto tied the series, I thought the series was over. It's clearly not. I said they can get game number 5. They're going to go to the NBA Finals. I'm going to tell you right now. I think that right now. I think Toronto is going to the NBA Finals right now. You know, I do think that they will close the Milwaukee Bucks out in game number four. Uh, not number four, game number six. Usually, 85% of the time, the team that wins game number five usually ends up winning the series. Now, you know, you got to go against my Golden State Warriors, okay? Hopefully, Kevin Durant comes back. Bless his heart. But, you know, um... I just, I just think that, you know, they have the momentum right now. There's been no indication that Tor that Milwaukee has can steal a game from Toronto in Toronto. I mean, Toronto's just balling out right now. Kawhi Leonard, he's just carrying this team. I mean, he's just that good. But Toronto's a more experienced team. They have the momentum. I think they're going to close Milwaukee out. Now, in order for Milwaukee to win the, to win that next game, I think they're going to need to be better from the free throw line. Giannis is going to need to be better from the free throw line. They're going to need to rebound better down the stretch. Okay, and Chris Middleton has got to play better. Okay, he can't you can't score six points if he's your number two. You can't have that. Okay, your your bench players need to play better. Eric Bledsoe actually had a very good game. It was great. It was great to see him coming alive. He's been ghosting these playoffs. You know, usually George Hill was outshining him, but you know, I just think that you know Milwaukee. I think Milwaukee's the better team, but I just think, I just think right now it's Toronto's time, okay? I think they're the more experienced. And, but I, by the way, I want to give their coach some credit. You know, I forget their coach's name, Toronto's coach, but he's put, he's, he surprised me. I mean, never did I think that a first year head coach potentially on this Toronto Raptors team could lead them to the NBA Finals potentially, okay? I never thought that. He's done an excellent job in the series with rotations, you know, with tweaking things, you know, getting the team ready and prepared mentally. He's done a great job. But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the game. I mean, Toronto, you know, they went through a stretch where they just caught fire and they were able to weather the storm two or three times. I mean, Milwaukee had a double-digit lead, you know, in the first half. They had a double-digit lead in the second half. They just were unable to hold on to it. And usually experienced teams, you saw with the Houston Rockets and the Portland Trailblazers, um, you know, versus the Golden State Warriors. Usually teams that are more experienced in the playoffs tend to close out these games, okay? That's just the reality of the situation. And... You know, if, if Milwaukee was a more experienced team, like I said, I think they would have been closed the series out. I think the series would have been over. But ultimately, you know, Giannis was a little bit ghost down the stretch. He didn't necessarily stop the bleeding. I didn't really see him stopping the bleeding when it counted most. He did come through with a clutch three, you know, late in the game. But Kawhi Leonard was just great. I mean, Mil Toronto's bench was better tonight. And ultimately, they played better down the stretch. You know, Milwaukee had their chance early on in the game to put them away. They just didn't. But, you know, like I said... I think, honestly, if Giannis is that guy, if he's the best player in the world, like some people are telling me, which I don't agree with, I think Giannis is definitely top six or top five, okay? But if he's the if he's the MVP, he's going to bounce back, and he's going to have a big game in game number six, in my opinion. But I don't know if it'll be enough. I, I just don't know. I can't see Kawhi Leonard blowing this opportunity. I think he realizes it. You know, his window in Toronto is closing, too, because... Next year, I don't think he's going to be a Toronto Raptor, even if they do make the NBA Finals and lose. I don't. I think Kawhi Leonard is gone either way. I think he's realizing that. I think he's he, he smells blood. The Toronto Raptors smell blood. You know, Marcus Gasol, he's hungry. Serge Ibaka's hungry. Kyle Lowry's hungry. Danny Green's hungry once again. I think they're just. They may not be the better team, but they have the momentum. They have home court. I think they closed Milwaukee out in game number six. But give me your thoughts on the game. Appreciate y'all for tuning in tonight. Be sure to like the video right now. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Do post a ton of great sports videos pretty much almost every single day. Giving y'all great content. Was it about, was it about bad um, Milwaukee Bucks? Was it about good Raptors? Is Kawhi Leonard potentially the best player in the game right now? I want to know. Give me you guys your thoughts. It's been your boy Jamal McKinney. And I'm Ghost. And go Kevin Durant. And go Warriors. I'm out, y'all.